Hi, superstars. It is time for math, and we are on lesson 2 9. Problem solving, and we are going to talk about using objects. You've learned how to compare and order numbers. Now you're going to learn how to use objects to act out stories and order numbers in this lesson. So our new words are fewest and most. Those are words we're going to be using in this lesson and they can be used when comparing groups of objects. So let's say we have two red marbles. We have five green marbles and four blue marbles. How can you find out which group has the most? All right, let's use these cubes. We're going to use these connecting cubes on the mat to find out which group of marbles has the most. So, how many red marbles do we have? We have two. So we're going to use these cubes to represent our marbles. So we're going to use two cubes. We're going to write the number two. And we have two cubes representing our two marbles here. So we have our two cubes that are red. And we have five green marbles. So let's see here. Let's, let's make five cubes green to represent our five green marbles. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have five green marbles, two red and five green. Okay, now we have four blue marbles also. So we're going to color in four of these blocks blue to show four blue marbles. And we are going to write the number that tells us four marbles are here. All right, so how many, how many marbles do we have that shows the most? How are we going to determine which set of marbles is the most? How are we going to find that out? Well, we ordered these in such a way that it goes from fewest up here. We have the fewest up here. And we have the most down here. So what color is showing us the fewest? It would be the red because there's two red marbles and it's the fewest in number. Now, which color marble is the most? That would be the green because there are five green marbles, right? So you can see by the cubes that this is fewer and this is most, right? Okay, so I want you to circle the, the marbles that are the most. What would we circle? We would circle the green because that is showing us that green is the most, all right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to 
say we have one yellow marble. So let's go right here and let's put the number one and that is showing us that we have one yellow marble. We have four purple marbles. So we're going to color in four of these blocks to show four purple marbles. All right, now we have two orange marbles. So let's go here and color in two orange blocks here. So which group of marbles has the fewest number now? Oh, I forgot to put the number two here. So which group is showing the fewest number of marbles? Right, let's change the color here. Right here, this is showing the fewest. So let's circle the fewest marbles, and that would be the yellow. Good job, let's turn our page over. Let's look at our first box up here. This is Paige. What is Paige looking at? It looks like school supplies, right? There's erasers, there's pencils, and there's a book. So how can Paige find out which group has the fewest objects? How do you think she can do that? She wants to know what the fewest which group has the fewest objects? All right, let's look over here. It says plan. All right, so why do you think Paige made a cube train of three cubes for the pencils? Maybe because there were three pencils, so she put three cubes to show three pencils. What do the other cube trains show? All right, here's another cube train. It's showing one book. And here's another cube train. And it is showing five erasers. All right, let's look over here. And this says solve. What did Paige do next? Do you notice the order that she put these cubes in? She put the cube trains in order from fewest to most. So she went fewest on the top um, down to the most, right? So which group has the fewest objects? This one does, right? The blue cube and the blue cube is for the books. So the group of books or the group of one book, right? That is showing the fewest all right, let's look at this last square. It says, look back and check. So how does Paige look back and check? Well, looks like she's thinking. This is a thinking bubble right here, All right? It means she's thinking. So she thinks about the number of each object in order from fewest to most. So she's looking at this. She's looking at the order from fewest to most. All right, let's go to number one. Let's clear this and let's move up here. 
All right, let's look at number one. So it says Paige has three snake stickers. These are the snake stickers. Two flamingo stickers and five fish stickers. Which group of stickers has the fewest? All right, so we have three. Trace it, you can air right to two flamingo stickers and five fish stickers. So which group has the fewest? How can the cubes be used to find out? Well, you're going to create cube trains for each group. Then you're going to color to show the number of cubes in each group, right? And then you're going to write the number in each group. So three, let's get a color here that matches. We have three snakes and they're green. So you would do three green connecting cubes to show three snakes. We would show two flamingos by putting two connecting cubes. And then we would show five connecting cubes to show the five fish stickers, right? We wrote in our numbers. And now we are going to see which set has the fewest. So we can look at each cube and we can compare them, right? So which do you think has the fewest? We wrote our numbers down. It looks like the flamingo stickers are the fewest. Okay. Let's look at number two. It says, write the numbers in order and then draw a box around the number that tells which group has the fewest. So we're writing them in order. Here's two and here is five. So what number would go here? And we're talking about these numbers right here. We're writing them in the order that they would be. So the number be after two and before five would be three, right? So that is the order of the numbers. Two, three, five. And then we are to circle we are to circle the number that shows what? The fewest, right? Okay, so which one was the fewest? Two, three, or five? Two. Because we had two flamingo stickers, and that was the fewest. Okay, let's go to number three here. Okay, it says Tyrone has four yellow blocks, five blue blocks, and three red blocks. Which group of blocks has the most? How can we use cubes to find out? So you're going to create cube trains for each group. You're going to color to show the number of cubes in each group and then write the number in each group. Okay, so we had four yellow blocks. So we're gonna create this cube train and we are going to color four yellow cubes. Then we are going to go to our blue blocks. How many did we have? five, one, two, 
three, four, five connecting cubes. And how many red did we have? Three. One, two, three connecting cube blocks. All right, now we're going to write the number. How many yellow cubes do we have? Four. How many blue? I guess we can count them, right? One, two, three, four, five. Let's write the number. And how many red? One, two, three. Three red blocks. So we wrote the number, right? So now I want you to write the numbers in order and then circle the number that tells which group has most. So down here, we're going to write them in the correct order. All right, so which number goes first? Which, which, which number, I mean? Which number goes first? Four, five, or three? Three, correct? All right, what number's after three? Four. And what number's after four? Five. So that is the correct number order. Which number tells us which group has the most? We can look up here at all three and see which one has the most. Look at this. Doesn't this look like it has the most? And it is the number five. So let's circle the number five because that's telling us which group has the most. Good job, superstars. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.